Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Sagittarius. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot. And I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle forecast for December the 20th to the 26th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel. This has been an amazing couple of years for all of us, but I truly appreciate all of you and your support with viewing liking, sharing, and especially subscribing and clicking that bell button and making it ring. So I truly, truly do appreciate all the wonderful comments that you leave behind all my videos as well. And that's what keeps all of us YouTube creators out here. The response that we receive from the public, from our subscribers, from new people coming in. And I truly do appreciate that. And that's what keeps promoting us to stay out here and do what we do. Now, um, I've been very, very busy this week doing personal readings and because of the time of year, people get stressed out. They want to know about their finances, their relationships, where they stand, all of that. And they have uncertainty. So please be sure uh, to be patient with me. I've been very busy, but if you are really wanting a reading with me and it just keeps getting busier every day, I will find a way to fit you in one way or the other. So don't worry about that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Remember Remember, this is a general reading and every single card may not resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. So let's see what we have here for you today. Okay, coming in with your all over energy card here, you have been given the card, the yoke. <clears throat> and unfortunately, this says you could be feeling tied down or frustrated in a situation around you. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's your job. Maybe you're feeling overworked, overwhelmed. I mean, let's face it, this is crunch time. This is December. Sometimes this is year end for some people and their, their businesses and their places that they work and they need to get things done and out. So uh, try not to feel so tied down. Try to uh, allow yourself to if you can allocate some of these jobs to other people so that you're not the only one doing all the work here okay so plan your moves and try to pace yourself here this week so that you're not overworking yourself now coming in in your first position here uh, with your first card here and this is the energy you could be feeling right now is I do think you're going to be getting help here you've got the king of swords this is a card of knowledge this is somebody who could be in law science business uh, you know um, you know government military they bring ed they bring very very valuable advice to you so um, a heads up you could be having somebody coming in here who's going to be helping you here take their advice you could also be retaining somebody for a legal action for a legal situation to promote defend and um, to help you through a situation a lawyer a judge the crown anything like that you come it's coming in with the two of wands two of wands is all about watching for your ship to come in but it is a card of duality and I think you could be partnering up with someone and it could be this person here that's going to come in and help promote you with a situation here and for some of you it could be legal for others maybe it's just business uh, but I do think that collaborating with others uh, is going to bring you to your outcome and this goal successfully uh, you know keep moving on in a new direction here because you're waiting for your ship to come in know that you've made great strides already okay keep moving forward keep being positive and be patient through this in, through this process now coming in with your second card position this is could be the the next step that you're taking here you've got the death card and you've got the ace of cups so the death card is about releasing things letting go moving on endings new beginnings uh something you know it could be a relationship here because the ace of cups comes in and that's definitely about someone who could be a very close friend or it could be somebody new in your life coming in or it could be the resurgence of a love affair however you know, it could be the end of troubled times here because it talks about the resurgence of a love in your life that may have been going through some stressful times. But the death card talks about new beginnings, doors opening, and to embrace the new world, to embrace the new opportunities coming into you. Let go of the past. It's done. Maybe it's something as simple as a contract that's ended here. Maybe, you know, you've worked something out here. Maybe it's the end of a court case here. And now you're able to look at your ship coming in and to move forward in a successful direction for some of you for others it could be the end of a relationship maybe you're moving on into a new one um, but the universe says release what happened in the past learn from the lessons it's taught you okay 
but don't dote on it. Don't dwell on it. You're not there anymore. And the universe says you you need to embrace a new beginning here. You know, the sun's going to shine. The star's going to come out again. And you're going to be able to move forward. Uh, it could be the end of anything. The end of a project. The end of, you know, a, 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 like I say, a contract where you were at work. Uh, maybe your lease is up. And you're going to be taking on a new lease or moving somewhere new. But definitely you're moving on in a new direction. This also talks about a new home. When the ace of cups shows up again you could be leaving home leaving a, a home that you've been at or you've sold a home and you could be moving to a new home as well so new beginnings definitely new beginnings going through transformation uh changes coming into you to go in a new direction okay now coming in in your center position here which could be and this is your next step here okay this could be the obstacles you're dealing with you've got the eight of swords and but you've got the chariot on top of it Okay, so as I was saying here, you, these could be the obstacles that you're dealing with. And the Eight of Swords says you could be going through anxiety. The Eight of Swords says, you know, you could be feeling as though you can't go forward. Feeling held back, imagining and that things aren't going to work out in your favor for whatever reason. Uh, you know, when you're going, when one thing ends and you're going into a brand new beginning on a new journey, it does seem a little bit daunting and you can get a little bit anxious over it. But what the universe is saying is you are imagining this yourself. Okay, you're allowing yourself to get up in your head and worry. So the universe says, let go of that anxiety. Okay, let go of the past. Embrace this new beginning that you're starting to, that's starting to unfold. And you're going to end up the winner at the end of the day. The chariot, you know, I always call the chariot. I always call him the champion. He goes into the arena knowing there's risks, there's going to be consequences, but he doesn't think about that. He's prepared. He goes in there with the thought he's going to be a winner and he does come out that way. So change your thought pattern here. Please, my beautiful Sagittarius. Vegetarians. Don't allow yourself to bring on anxiety and worry that's unwarranted. Okay, I do believe there's a new beginning here. I do believe that you're going to be moving forward here towards a new beautiful beginning. And keep in mind, again, the Ace of Cups is about, you know, new love coming in or the resurgence of love around you, working on that, building on that. So you're going to come out ahead of the game here. Great accomplishments, getting recognized for hard work and effort, uh, uh, you know, maybe a public, uh, uh, you know, recognition, getting an award, getting a scholarship, definitely success coming in here. So just don't allow yourself to work worry or doubt yourself. Now, coming in in your next position here, your fourth card position, you've got, this is your strengths and your resources. Well, you've got a double message here with this king of swords again, right? Stepping up into your power, realizing that the truth is going to come out, realizing you've got resources here. You've got people of integrity that you can take advice from that are going to help you. And the page of wands, okay? Being able to step up and see opportunity and take action towards it. The page of wands is invention. It's, it's the beginning of something new here that's coming in and maybe this king has allowed you by promoting, defending, and giving you good advice that you can trust you now are able to feel free to take on new opportunities that are going to come in. Page of wands brings something excited exciting okay it's about new beginnings new opportunities whether it's a new job a career a relationship whatever it's going to be something new coming in and to keep your options open for that but i think you're getting advice here maybe you're getting advice here with some new thing that's coming into you maybe the page of wands is bringing you the idea of a new a new job and uh or it you know uh something like that and you're getting legal advice here. Maybe you're signing a contract here that you need to pay attention to and read between the lines before you jump in. Now, coming in with your outcome card, this is your potential outcome. You've got the hangman and you've got, the, this is very contradictory, you've got the hangman, which is stillness, and you know, and, and you've got the eight of wands. So <clears throat> these are very different energies very contradictory so we all know the hangman is being in limbo waiting for something to come in uh and while you're there you're thinking about it you're planning it you're you're you know you're working on it so that when you hit the ground you're going to hit the ground running because i do believe <clears throat> that something could be in a pause state of action here and you're waiting to be able to get off this pause and get running and when you do you better be prepared because Sagittarius, this says you're going to be busier than you ever imagined you could be. Um, <clears throat> this is also the, 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 the wands of Cupid. They talk about this eight of wands. So there could be something working in the, you know, in the background here and a beautiful relationship. 
But on the whole, you're going to get busy. So, you know, whatever it is, if it has to do with a relationship, maybe you're planning something with someone, maybe you're planning a wedding, maybe it's a surprise wedding, maybe it's something over the Christmas and the New Year's, whatever the case is, you're going to have to balance yourself here. The Eight of Wands says get ready to hit the ground running. I think you're going to see the end of this pause coming in because this is overlaying on that. If you felt like you've been in limbo waiting for something to come in, well, guess what? The energy is just going to change and boom, you're going to be out there running on all engines. So be prepared for that because I do think at the end of the day, it's going to wear you out. So, and this is why, surrender to rest and sleep. So to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, your body and your spirit. So I think you're going to be finding that, you know, if you're fighting anxiety here and allowing yourself to get up in your head, that stresses you out and it wears you down. So don't allow yourself to do that. You have the ability to come out ahead here. You've got a brand new beginning here for unfolding in front of you. You've got the two kings of sword that show up twice here, okay? That means you're going to have support. You're going to be standing in your own integrity, your own truth, and you're getting a wonderful, wonderful wise advice here to help you move forward. So, uh, you know, at the time here, you could be feeling tied down and frustrated because a hangman does show up here as well but be patient because I'm telling you something you're going to see a shift of energy coming into you in the, in the next little future here where you're going to hit the ground running and you're going to need to pace yourself and get your rest and be prepared for that well kind of a different reading for you isn't it Sagittarius so I have to figure out how I'm going to title this one but I do believe at the end of the day, I mean, when you get that beautiful two of wands and you get that beautiful chariot card and you get that beautiful ace of cups on top of change and new direction and releasing old patterns and moving forward and the death card says brand new beginning coming in, you're going to be able to be very busy to reach for your goals and what it is you want and the new opportunities coming into you with this page of wands. So... On that note, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe over this beautiful festive time. And always remember that I always stand in this circle of love and light for you. So many blessings and much love, and I'll see you soon.